Hello, my name is Jordan and welcome back to another Cycle Frontier video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the three puzzles on Bright Sands. If you're not familiar with what the puzzles are, if you go around the map, you'll see three different batteries that you can arrange in different orientations in these holsters that will eventually unlock a loot room that you can get a bunch of really good loot. Every single puzzle room does have a guaranteed miniature reactor. And so they're a great way to get loot, especially if you have a team They can be done very quickly. Um, as you can split up and get all the batteries brought to the correct location. There's one at Water Facility, there's one at Dig Site, and East Collection Point. Just a quick note about the Dig Site puzzle. There are actually two orientations currently that you can find it in, and one of them is bugged. So I'll be showing the puzzle that you can actually complete. But before we get started, I do want to thank everybody who has recently joined the community here over on YouTube. Um, we just hit 200 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you, thank you so much for that. And I hope that I keep on making good content that you guys are excited about. And one last thing, I keep on finding people with the old currency, not in their safe pockets. You should always have the old currency in your safe pocket because it weighs nothing and can always be fit into your safe pocket. So without further ado, let's get into it and start off with water facility. Okay, here's how I would suggest to do the water facility puzzle. For anybody wondering, best way to do the water facility puzzle. So yeah, I like FPS's, uh, what can I say? There's nothing like the rush of hunting people down and killing them. But I'm still getting the headshots. It's like boom, headshot, boom, headshot, boom, headshot. Okay, now back to what I was doing. The, uh, the puzzle, I would go in here first. Grab this, open it up. I think there's a second person. Anyways, your best bet is to grab those two first. Rush them over here. Yes. Toss that. I don't know where they are. Anyways, bring the other one. I would recommend having full stamina before you start running with these. Just so that you don't uh, have to walk. Don't put them in yet because you're going to need you're going to need to not have one of them plugged in and I don't remember which one it is. So essentially, then you run up hill. Very important here. You cannot jump up this. It's too high. You dip in here, you check for a little bit of loot because you're a loot goblin. And then uh yep. Then you come in here, check for a little bit more loot. Nothing, nothing of uh, value. You toss it off. You just lob it. Come back over here so you don't take fall damage. And booyah. Puzzle complete. Enjoy your loot. Enjoy your loot. Because what happens is, is if you put this one in first, it'll activate these blue uh, shields. And you actually can't get the... Uh, the battery so don't do it that way uh, it won't it won't make you happy there's always a miniature reactor um, scrap metal no I don't want it and then sometimes there's a key card sitting on this table uh, and then sometimes you get smart mesh because you're lucky okay so Step one of the puzzle. Take this out of here and place here. Nope, not there. Place here. There we go. Very important step. Uh, next, don't die. be a little bit difficult if you don't have a good gun like me um, but you should be able to be fine 
beat your rattler out so that he spits at a different spot and then slap him. Ah! We're fine. I would, I would love to. Um, just so you know, I am just doing these puzzles though, so I don't know if that's exciting enough for you. But there's, there's loot aplenty. Um, but anyway, so you come in here. Uh, see, this is, this is where the. Uh, I shouldn't be getting loot right now. Anyways, you grab this. You come over here. You slap, slap the button. You evacuate. You jump. Oh, grab it over. And you bring it over to this little building, right? Toss it over there. Give it a nice toss. Durin gang. Is this like Tarkov, like the same game uh, style type of deal? I would say it's similar in genre, uh, if that makes sense. So basically, uh, it's a little bit less competitive. And welcome to the community, Durin gang. Appreciate the follow. Um, so basically, you power that one up, and then you can open this now. Which then you can put this battery onto this thing, right? Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so I would say in some ways it's similar to Tarkov in the sense that it's a looter shooter, so you can go, um, run around, kill people, find loot, um, and then at the end you need to evacuate, so, yeah, there are no, uh, lobbies, so you just immediately enter a, uh, an instance, you don't have to, like, wait to get paired up with other people. And anyways, but this is the last battery. You can take it out here. And you run it back to the other three batteries over here. Easy peasy. Make sure you have full stamina before you start doing this because you don't want to start walking when you're out in the open. Um, but anyways, that can go, that can go in there. And then we go get the last one. Um, but yeah. Careful not to get slapped. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Takuna. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the sub. And is for anywhere and anytime at all. Down here in the deep blue sea. <laughs> Are you more of a SpongeBob or a Plankton, Durham gang? I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. It's amazing. You guys are beautiful people, and I love you. Um, and I hope that you enjoy your silly red-headed person emotes. <laughs> but anyways, then these power, those power lines, which lead you over here. And just happen to find super good loot outside the place, too. Anyways, that should unlock this. And voila! Welcome to the lootiest loot in your life. Lots of looty loots. You can come here, you can find tactical foregrips, find ammo, whatever. Miniature reactor, easy. You want some titan ore? There's some titan ore. You want some focus crystals? You want a better shield? Boom, now you got a better shield. Uh, What else? You got some print resin, nice. Uh, You want more ammo? Sure. You want a small muzzle break? Easy. Uh, just slap that in there, and then you're good. And we didn't actually get a better weapon, which is a little bit sad. But a lot of times you can find better weapons. Um, watch out for stuff on desks as well. Because um, they will spawn on desks. And you want to make sure you grab all the loot that you've worked so hard for. Uh, except for when they don't spawn. Oh, look, there's Titanor on the ground. Easy. And yeah, that's how you do the dig site puzzle when it's the correct orientation and not the bad one. All right, so you technically leave this here first. Um, don't take it out yet. I'm going to put some of this stuff in here. Um, but anyways, yeah. So you, you leave that in there and you come over here. Open up this middle thing. Uh, wait, 
Okay, hold up. I gotta be honest, I haven't done this one myself. Okay, so we opened it. Wait, no, we, I think we do need to bring it. Hold up. Okay, I don't, I don't know what I was saying. Somebody told me not to take it out before. Uh, but anyways, then you can grab that, grab this, and you just kind of chuck them at the door. You chuck these puppies right at the door. Uh, see if there's any loot, and then you grab the last one, and also chuck at door. Uh, make sure we didn't miss out on any super good loot like a shock absorber. Helsinki <laughs> is a place. All right. Anyways, then what you can do, this little button on the wall, doop, grab it, and then you just go, Hoo! oh, hold up, actually. I think I think the idea is, is you press this button, you run out, and you go, Hoo! but then you can actually pick them up through the wall, which feels wrong, but uh, you can do it, so. <laughs> if you can do it, then how wrong can it be, right? That's not good logic. Don't listen to me. Bad logic. I feel like somebody's here. I'm a little worried about this. It's definitely not intended. Okay, yeah, yeah. I feel like somebody's here. Gosh. Still working your way up to Crescent Falls? Uh, no. Currently, Tetsuchi, I'm trying to uh, record in my stream... Uh, how to do each of these puzzles so that I can just make a YouTube video about it um, having a recording of all three puzzles being done on stream so that you know it's fun on stream but then also I get a YouTube video out of it so yeah <laughs> Commodore 64 isn't a video game though it may have felt like a game trying to get it to run but uh, but it wasn't actually a game Hate to break it to you. <laughs> really? Okay. Good to know. Takuna teaching me things. Let's go. I didn't even know that. Really? See? We're all learning. We're all growing. As people. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to try that out. But anyways, then. Look at all the loot you have. Definitely not as much as uh, the other place. But... Arguably, this puzzle is a little bit easier. So, don't get greedy. Grab your loots and scoots. Alright? You just grab your loot and then you scoot. Uh, there should always be a miniature reactor, I believe. And then there's two jackets in here that you can... I don't even know what these sample containers are for. But I'll grab it anyways, I guess. And yeah, let's see. Oh, look at that! We did it! Thanks to Takuna, we did it. Hello. I'm so dead. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that the chapters were helpful so that you could get to the right sections of the video. Let me know if you liked those and please leave a comment down below letting me know what you think that I should make a tutorial about next or any questions that you might have about the Psychic Frontier. Thank you all for watching. Please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.